Well, try it out sometime. <laughs> <laughs> how do I? Okay. How do I live without you? Oh, I gotta mute. I gotta mute this channel. Eight hours. Boom. That's Pearl drinking. Uh, wait, you have a canned kombucha? Booch pop. A booch pop. pop. Have you had this before? No, I don't like kombucha. Maybe I, <laughs> maybe I can come around with my bit. You want to see my bit? Yeah, I well, hold on. I gotta open in the, the year of twenty twenty one. Let me open oh, that. yeah, because I'm not, my cameras won't go to Discord. That's fine. Don't even worry about it. I was just going to do Kombucha Girl and rip it off. What's Kombucha Girl? Like? The gif of the girl who's like, she tries Kombucha and she goes, Ugh. well, oh, Ugh. yeah. Brittany Broski. Brittany Broski, we're on a name, double name basis. Health Aid makes cans, eh? Interesting, says Psychosis. Hey, man, Health Aid makes cans, man. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? I feel like I have not Well, I haven't talked to you in a while Except I for in your own streams I we, know busy Well, and, and your streams Yeah I've not been busy It's not it, well, I, busy. I'm I'm happy that you've been busy Because I'm holding it down in the non-busy <laughs> I'm holding down the non-busy quadrants C through F Well, that's good, I suppose Yeah, it's actually pretty great it's it allows me to do things like watch the entire entirety of the MCU in two and a half days. So okay, you did for people who um, I have a bunch of questions. Uh, we're talking with Pearl. We're talking with with we're talking with Zach Pearlman. <laughs> we're talking with Pearlman. Uh, my best Terry Gross. Zach Pearlman recently agreed to come on. I'm into that and talk to me <laughs> as part of my show. <laughs> there's a there's 10 minutes dedicated to you doing a terry gross impression <laughs> <laughs> well um to be honest i'm into that is just uh, my platform for me to do my things and i drag other people through it it's just I, it's just <laughs> i don't feel dragged i feel led like on a sled well you check out all these bits and then i go for a million <laughs> hours it's it's you rehearsing a tight five over and over and over. <laughs> now, what word do you think is funny? It's been the same. It's been the same for five years. <laughs> what? <laughs> I do my best carrot top. I okay. This is a joke that I think is very funny that I can't that nobody under the age of thirty gets. But carrot top used to be a comedian. I, maybe is now still. But all his his whole bit thing would just he would furiously and vigorously run through jokes and not give the oh, audience yeah. any chance to laugh. Because if they did have the chance, they would realize they weren't funny. Yeah, correct. So it's just he, him would, it's just, he, <laughs> he was one of the um, pioneers of scream at the audience. Yes, <laughs> that's very true. And he that, and Gallagher were real scream at the audience. Gallagher folks. screams at a lot of people, from my understanding. Dude, Gallagher's stuff was pretty racist. Wait, was it? <laughs> yeah, there's some like really anti-Islamic. Well, um, I, I know that he w he did something recently, and by recently, again, I mean the last fifteen years. Um, he was talking about something on. Oh, he was he was raging against PC culture. Mm. Which, if you're Gallagher, just a weird hill to die on. I mean, <clears throat> what a weird person to die as. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, my fact checker comes in. As far as we know, Gallagher is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> but it is true. What a weird person to die as. <laughs> <laughs> However, what Zach said was not incorrect. Um, yeah, the, 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 oh, Trizzy Trake in the chat with the sitter is great. Okay. The Sorry, sitter? That was, a while, that was a while ago. I was talking about the sitter. Is the um, Jonah Hill movie? Yeah. I remember they had a campaign where you would call 1 800, an, oh, 1 -800 number. And it was right after a movie I did had a failed 1-800 number oh. campaign. Interesting. Um, and it was a, it was the same studio. And I was like, why would they do that again? 
They were trying to tank Jonah's movie. They just so bought crazy. they just bought a bunch of one eight hundred numbers and they're like, well. It was called the Virginity Hit. There were posters all over the country that said, Are you a virgin? Call this number. Uh and um That seems like a tough thing to to get people to do. Well, it, it was there just to stir uh controversy. We wanted the Christian like groups to ban our movie. That's what we were aiming to do. I see. I do remember that. Interesting. But ultimately it just, it, it, it like, it was so, everybody would be like, Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. It had nothing right. about the poster. The poster felt like a come to Jesus poster. Mm. Um, yeah. I would have never called either. I mean, you would have heard my voice. Oh, is it still up? No, no, they got rid of it pretty quickly, Damn. which makes sense. The yeah. movie didn't do well, mm. but that idea to to do it, have it fail, and then have the fucking the sitter pull it off again, the ego <laughs> to just be like, <laughs> "We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it again. It will work this time," and then for it to not work is just. It's Hollywood, baby. What was, <laughs> what was the premise of the sitters? Uh, what would you call for? You're calling to get a to babysitter. To get a babysitter, okay. And I think it was Jonah would pick up and be like, hey, what's up? I'm the sitter. Let's see. I wonder if it's on YouTube. Oh, that'd be sitter, fun. Sitter, 1-800 number. Um, was, nope. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, my I had a film called The Sitter uh, at the same exact time, and it was just me uh, on a toilet. It got overshadowed. A very uh, Toby Hooper. Toby Pooper? Toby. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wait, who's Toby Hooper? Why am I getting none of my references correct tonight? Golly. Toby. Okay, chat. There's a guy who... Twice made a movie, one about Hitchcock, one about Capote, and they were overshadowed by bigger movies with larger casts. And Toby. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, he's also in. Speaking of MCU, he's the scientist who works with Red Skull. Oh. Come on, dude. I'll find a way. He's He also Toby. turns into the computer in Captain America Winter Soldier. He's the. No, that's a different guy. Like, Wait, is that not Baron guy. Von Zemo? Baron, Baron, it's not Baron yeah, Von Zemo. Guy. That's a different guy. No, Baron Zemo. I know so little about this. This is great. Uh, Baron Zemo is a different guy, but that no, he no, no, is no, no, that no. guy not is not Baron it. Zemo. No, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about I'm talking about Winter Soldier. The the that guy, the actor I'm talking the, about. The actor who turns into the computer. Yes, it, it is the same guy. What's his name? Toby something. Maybe it's not Toby. It's like Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie, he just looks like Ralphie from Christmas Story. Oh, we watched a. I, I okay, this isn't it. Um, I watched the Christmas Story every year for the longest time when I was a child, and I hated mm -hmm. it. And I was like, I we don't want to watch this movie again. And then why did you less, hate it? Because my brother wanted to watch it. Toby and Jones. Toby Jones. Toby Jones. Oh. And he, and I was right. Wait, is he also in Winter Soldier? Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna, he's I'm in just Winter gonna. Um... He plays. Um, uh, he plays. Yes, he, you're right. I, I just remember him as like a little scientist running away from. Uh, I'm a little so... scientist. Tommy Jones and all kind of stuff. Yes, he's in. Um, he's in a show called The Detectorists, with. Oh yeah, we're um, right. yeah yeah yeah. With the guy, the guy who from... played Dwight. And Rigetti from. Pirates. Pirates, yeah. Hey. Bootstraps. Bootstraps. All right, I'm gonna pop get pop culture. Ever heard of it? I'm gonna get Toby. Uh, it's off my the religion, bitch. Whoa. I don't need to believe in God when <laughs> I've got Mickey Mouse. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's like a beatnik poem. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Uh, what's the closest you've, uh, you're, are you in, uh, this is me being a bad friend. Are you in the MCU at all? Uh, no, I'm not. What's the closest, have you, have you made an attempt? Would you like to be? Uh, yes, I would love to be. Um, 
and I have made an attempt, but in truth, there's a part of me that wants to take on a much bigger role mm. than what's um than what was um approachable. Uh huh. Who's your but ultimate? I think to be. Yeah. I think I could be Wolverine for real. Oh, I'd love it. I think he's historically short. Um, I could get gruff. I mean, cha uh, come on. I can grow it. I would just have to, you know, not eat pizza every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like, oh, that's a lot. Do the You're going to have to pay me money to not do that. Uh, I would, I would hope to have a little more time than Kumail. Dude, I'm a little... did he have to, they stopped shooting, right? They stopped shooting and then he had to keep the body up for a minute. Uh, he rushed it and then had to stop, right? Kumail? Yeah. No, they, they went pedal to the metal with that guy. Did they already finish the film though? Before the quar? Or did they? Eternals? Ha- I think it was done. I feel like I read somewhere on on uh, on. Let's see, it comes out this year, right? Oh, it comes then out never in November. Mind. Then they finish it. This year's a question. Well, uh, they shot. They shot a release date February twelfth, twenty twenty one. What? Wait what? A second. Alpha Dev. With the follow, what's up, Alpha Dev? Zach would make an awesome Iceman. That's cool. Iceman is the is the is the guy who played. Oh my god, I can't. I'm gonna do it again. Iceman was the guy played by by Toby Jones, the, the one white guy who was in Animorphs and also a <laughs> Disney <laughs> Channel EMS oh, show. Oh, Ben Ben Foster. No, not Ben Foster. Oh. Uh. But, but he, close. he played someone. He played Angel. He was in Pay It Forward, and he was Angel. Pay It Forward? Pay Sorry, it forward. Fast Forward. Good Lord. Yeah, yeah, Fast Forward. This is like, this is literally Pay it forward just two old Haley men. <laughs> yeah, this is just the weirdest. This is like Welcome to IMDb Live or something. Yes, it's like we're, we're Angel. just making autistic <laughs> connections between <laughs> people's projects. There was a dude, there was a dude in my hometown of Louisville, uh-huh. Kentucky, who people would write in and they'd go, hi, last night I was watching Matlock. And there was a guy, <laughs> there was a guy who, uh, he played the mechanic in episode 102, according to the TV guide. And then they go, I know I've seen him before. Where was it? And the guy would just go on IMDb and say, maybe here, <laughs> but it oh would, it would, it would be like a, like he was some sort of a, Savant, but I knew about MDB. Uh, I'm zero degrees from Kevin Bacon. He and I um, did that <laughs> hearing, <laughs> <laughs> hearing thing from DBZ, so we're the same person now. I'm Zach Bacon now. Zach Bacon is a good name. Yeah, thanks. Damn. <laughs> Magneto. Um, That's all. <laughs> Magneto. Oh, he's not Magneto. <laughs> He was the guy who wore Magneto's hat, and then Magneto was like, "I'm gonna take that hat." Yeah, he he originated the Magneto hat because um, it wouldn't let the it wouldn't let Xavier into the mind into his head, Damn. so he couldn't control him. This sucks. Yeah, <laughs> I missed all the fun. What are they? Fun? We're we're talking about the we're talking about Fringe MCU. That is the MCU. Oh, you're right. It's, it's actually considered legacy. Oh, you're right. The Marvel Marvel legacy. Magneto. Uh, Rift tracks. I I rewatched all the X Men that I could find for free online. What do you mean that you could find? Some of them suck, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you mean that you could? Apocalypse find? is so bad. Oh, Just like stuff yeah. that I didn't have to illegally acquire. And I see. I, I didn't want to rent. I see. I tried to watch um, Apocalypse. Um, Mm -hmm. and my experience with apocalypse was that I had the worst diarrhea in the world 
I was watching it on my on my it at home on my couch with that, with that with, was your body <laughs> with, an excuse to not watch with it. Sadie on my left and my friend Andrew on my right and we were just we sat down and watched it and I was like I went to the bathroom like four fucking times <laughs> and when your stomach hurts watching something that's not good is so much worse oh my god dude because I've what been I've I've had the disaster I've had the scenario where I've been like oh fuck can we pause it I'm sorry. And but I was I was like just go just fucking play it, just let me go blast. <laughs> I'll hear the loud booms <laughs> from the other room, <laughs> <laughs> and you guys will too. <laughs> That's a uh, professional comedian. <laughs> Where's uh what what's Sadie doing? Um, she was next to you and then she left. She was editing something and now she's gone. Um, has your relationship changed since you guys have gotten engaged? Um. No, people ask that, but uh, I think the real, the only thing is, is that the, um, we don't fight that we don't fight, but like an argument would be like, well, we have, you know, we don't have like knockdown drag out fights, but there have been in the last seven years moments where you're like, is this it? Is this yeah. it? But I assume that you would, you don't have those anymore <laughs> after you get engaged or, or you do, they're like. They're, they're, you know what I mean? You know, everybody knows what I'm trying to say. It's not like basically a, you thought you would just be right for the rest of your life because you asked her to marry. You. <laughs> not what I mean. I'm saying you can't go to the well of oh, we're gonna bring up because now the wet now oh, it's yeah. quote that's, the wedding's that's too off. fucked up. That's yeah. too fucked up. Um, you're you're in you're in serious for sure. Yeah, you yeah, gotta yeah. work shit out. <laughs> you gotta you gotta bend. Before you break. Yeah, sorry, uh, Taj. Alerts are off for this. Uh, oh, sorry, dude. Oh, I he, guess here, I can I'll put do that. It. I'll so. do it for you. I'll do it for you. Oh, he all X Games mode. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you, you if it was Whistle Fart that you chose to play, uh, that was uh, Zach Perlman. <clears throat> yeah, I, I will pay you back, Taj. What was the alert? Um. Anyway, okay. We're talking the MCU. We're uh, for those just joining us. We're, we're joined. MC. We're joined by <laughs> Zach Perlman. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get excited. You get excited because fresh air is on. And then this guy goes, "I'm Dave Davies," and you go, "Fuck! Oh, <laughs> damn on. it!" Better all than... all white guys on NPR have to have the same Bean first pool. last name. <laughs> I do like Larry Mantle. Larry I'm, I'm Richard Richard. Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Mark Marks. <laughs> I'm Beanie Beanerson. Uh, what's happening? You know what? This guy is funny. Yes, Zach Broman is a professional one. comedian. <clears throat> That's true. I'm more of an. I, I would say I'm more of an actor. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I just don't want to um, offend comedians because there is like a difference, you know? Sure. I don't, I, for the most part, this only act. But and a, in comedic roles for a lot of the. True, 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 true. I but, was always like, I felt growing up that I was not a person who had a stand up brain, but. Mm -hmm possibly had the ability to deliver things in funny ways so i but those people are called comedians are they not which ones comedic actors no i think people just get it confused because well they wikipedia lists uh those people as comedians like i wouldn't call rick moranis a comedian i'd call him an actor i would I'd put him in my top five comedians See that's interesting because like <clears throat> I think he did sketch, but then he, he did moved sketch. away from that. Yeah, but so yeah, SCTV because like when was the last time I, he did sketch? It's like calling a I don't know. I just wanted to be. Does you it know. matter? I guess it doesn't matter. The truth is, is like <clears throat> I I feel like a comedian would be like, "You're not a comedian," and I'd be like, "I never claimed to be." <laughs> yeah, that was Matt. You fuck that ass. was that that's the internet yeah that's true uh hey, so yeah, sorry I, I jack TikTok, tiktok tiktok god, god. please <laughs> forgive, us, forgive us um, um you were a uh, you could be called a vine comedian 
people refer to me as that. And I go, you were a Vine don't love comedian. that. I was on Vine. I guess I was a Vine comedian. You were a Vine comedian and a good one. You should be. All right. Yourself. Just keep talking for the next hour about how good I was. At Vine. <laughs> All right. Let's bring up my old Vines. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I lost most of them. Uh, I don't want to talk about that Vine. That sucks. All right. We won't. Um, we're here to talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe and what everyone, well, what what you, everyone's clamoring, everyone's talking. They're, they're in the streets. They go, have you seen it? Have you seen it? And I go, what? And they go, WandaVision, of course. And uh, I have seen WandaVision. I've watched WandaVision. You did it? I've caught up. I was editing one night and I started WandaVision. I said, I'll give it a shot. And then I paused WandaVision. I said, well, I kind of maybe want to watch this for real. And I did Yeah, it. that's how I felt. And there's so little of it. That's my big thing. It's just got to get it on the ground floor. You, I <clears throat> I got in. Here's the thing. I started Mandalorian when it started and then fell off episode five, season one. Have not picked it up. Yes. I waited until episode five to care about WandaVision. Same. Because everyone by episode five was like, this show is so good. Yeah, actually, episode six is when I started watching it. I well, I started so I, finally, I started with the first one. But. Oh, you know what? It actually might have been episode whatever the episode is. Oh yeah, the no episode five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. episode five. Um, which is the nineteen like nineties sitcom or eighties eighties sitcom. The step by not step by step. Yeah, step by step or yeah. step by step. Nobody talks about step by step. They want to go. What about Full House? I go. What about well, it? It was fine. No one, no one talks about growing pains. Oh, you know, the, show me that smile again. Oh, show me that smile. Don't baby, don't you cry again. Step by step is um is a classic. Step by step, Patrick Duffy. Patrick Duffy. Wait, was Boner Suzanne step Summers. by no, Boner was um. Mike Boner's at the door. <laughs> That's Alan Thick. Rest in peace. Yeah. My boners at the door. <laughs> Wait, did Patrick was it Patrick Buffy or Duffy? And is he dead? You know, I didn't like the Marvel shows on Netflix. Are you fucking kidding me, Arya? Whoa, when did that happen? Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. Baby Vision? He's what? Are you fucking around? Wait, he no, he's still alive. Aria, are you joking in the chat about someone's life? Uh, Patrick Duffy's wife might have died. Maybe. <laughs> he's alive. Arya has uh, jumped in the chat with the uh, all caps the troll king pin strikes again. <laughs> you got trolled, bro. <laughs> I did. What was fun <laughs> what was funny is that I was really I think... <laughs> terrified. I was really terrified because I was smiling because I was looking up because it was just the way that he delivered. He got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's I think what's funny <laughs> he is... was walking Brown face. <laughs> oh my god! So uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna let you talk. But she was walking. <laughs> <laughs> to your face. <laughs> um, connection. The first episode yeah. that we did live. I'm into that. Zach Perlman came in the chat. Told Arya and I, the president has COVID. Oh yeah. Fun little. That's fun, right. Fun little minute there. That was um. Oh. Oh, that was a good couple of hours. Hey, we, we dragged it out for a couple of days. All right. We're talking about Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're talking about WandaVision. Um, you know, I as much as I've watched WandaVision, the last two and a half days have been completely dedicated to watching. You're catching up. The timeline in order. I've seen them all. Right. Like. Some of them, like Iron Man, the original or the third one, I've seen probably five plus times each. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, because like, there was that moment where you were like, you were like, I'm going to, for a minute, you would watch the first one 
And then you'd go, you oh, okay, Iron Man 2's coming out or whatever the fucking next one is. You go, I'm going right. to watch Iron Man 1 and then Iron Man 2. And then they kept doing yeah. that. And then eventually they put those in theaters where they were like, hey, we're doing a marathon. The next one's coming out, Ultron. Yeah. And then you'd watch them all, a, a butt numathon, as they called it. And then, I'm uh, sorry, a what? A butt numathon, where you'd sit no. in a theater. Uh huh. People know. People know what I'm talking about. No. I I'm just going to commit to it. A butt numathon, where you'd watch all a bunch of movies. If at anything, it would be a num butt a thon. That's true. But, I didn't coin but it. Numathon? But numathon. And who out here knows what a butt numathon is? I'm gonna I stop mean, even it. if you were just to say, what's a butt num, I'd go, I have no idea, my man. Mm. And then to say it's a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> I did not go back and watch any WandaVision stuff, uh, but I did go back and watch Pietro Maximoff get blasted. Oh, yeah, you watched Age of Empire? No, I watched, <laughs> I, I watched just the clip. But you had to sit through so much Hawkeye. Come on, dude. He gets robbed. He gets robbed. Of what? F- fun, excite, cool stuff to he do in the He signed MCU. on. He signed on. But that's what I'm saying is I don't he he's gonna get his own show. It's gonna be great. No, he's not. Yeah, Hawkeye. Wait, is he? Is that a real thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has his own show. The Hawkeye and Ronin. We're in we're in um, that's a thing. Phase four, right? Where are we, guys? Yeah, I think four? we're in. I think we're in phase four, Q six. Q um, six. That's a dumb it's joke. It's crazy because there's a tonal shift every like four movies, and it's so invited. That's right. why I think the Marvel Cinematic Universe is so good. Yes. It's because they allowed themselves. First off, they hired indie. Yes. Um, uh, or not necessarily less, uh, or yeah, less well known directors. Like bringing Shane Black to come and do Iron Man 3 was a brilliant idea. Yeah. Predator. Because we had all Lethal we Weapon had fame. Lethal Weapon. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Which I think is his best movie and also one of Robert Downey Jr.'s best movies. It's a little bit tough of a watch in 2021. I'll tell you that. I saw it for the first time last year. But it's good. Uh, what is? Uh, Kiss, Kiss Bang, 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 yeah. It's, it feels, I it. it feels, I mean, I mean, it's just, like it, 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 it was like, hey, I want to make sure that if anyone watching this movie knows exactly the calendar date that it came out. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, isn't, uh, What's his name's entire character like an offensive? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I mean not even that way, but it's like just every part of it is like the cars they're driving, the Hollywood glamour style, everything. Whatever. I'm not talking about yeah. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Shane Black wrote the Lethal Weapon movies, which I do like. Yeah. And and Nice Guys and I didn't yeah. see Predators, but Nice Guys was great. Nice Guys is really good. Yeah. We love um, Russell Crowe here, everybody. But honestly, if I'm gonna say it, Iron Man three I think is it's one of his top films. With a man... A Mandarin. Durin. I was going to say Mandalorian. With the Mandalorian. With the Mandalorian. Yeah, Bang King, Bing Kingsley playing the Mandalorian. Yeah, R.I.P. Guy hit by a car walking across the street. Last great Vel Kilmer role. Oh, that's right. He was the other guy. Wait, I was thinking of the other guys. No, I was thinking of nice guys. Fuck. There's too much media. There's too much media out here. Hey, man, don't worry about it. That's why we have these podcasts to go over just to say the words. Yes. All we're doing is just saying stuff that's happened. Isn't that kind of crazy? Uh, We're just talking about other stuff that's happened. mm -hmm. But that this then becomes something happening. And then someone talks about this. They go, yeah, these two idiots were kind of stumbling through the movie connections of the Marvel <laughs> yeah. Cinematic Universe. They took, they spent a while on what – they were trying to get Toby Jones, and then they named a bunch of other people. Um, we it, never named Philip Seymour Hoffman because those two – they're not the same. They're not on the same – No. They're very good, though. Who played Hitchcock? Uh, never mind. Who played Hitchcock? Oh, in the Hitchcock. Film. It was Anthony – Anthony Hopkins? Hopkins, yes. 
talk, talk, want to talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Odin. That's Odin. all I got. He plays Odin. He plays Odin, as portrayed think... by Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Matt Damon plays Loki. What? Oh, did he? Oh, he was an actor portrayed by Loki. That was a Train fun little Loki. cameo. That was a great cameo. When's George you Clooney going to get else, his? You know who else has played Loki? Bob Hoskins. <laughs> what? Excuse me, where? Bob, Bob Hoskins played Loki in Son of the Mask, which has, without a doubt, the most insane scene I think I've ever seen in a film. It's like top 10 weirdest, most out of place scenes. What? I've ever. <laughs> this is the Jamie There's Kennedy a... vehicle? This is the Jamie, Ken... Jamie Kennedy vehicle. There is a scene in Son of the Mask where the mask fucks <laughs> Jamie Kennedy's wife. Jamie Kennedy as the mask fucks his wife. Uh -huh. And then it goes into her belly. <gasps> this is the inciting shows... incident. And it shows the mask sperms racing no. to the edge. Yes, All it's right. a real thing. Well, you can't say something like that. <laughs> Son of mask impregnation. This is the exciting incident, so this must happen early on. Uh, Ten minutes into the film. Okay, this is just mask sperm, colon, D. Hang on here. We'll just go ahead and just watch this. Yep, son of mask sperm scene. Uh, this is not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is this is actually <laughs> canon. This is, this is how the next WandaVision episode opens. People go, what was that yeah. about? So they just fucked. <laughs> no. Wait a second. This is not the audio. I don't think. Why do they look like the Mucinex boogers? I know, dude. I'm not gonna it's... leave. I'm not gonna use the audio from. <sighs> okay, this is like some dub. But anyway, this is what it is. They look like the Mucinex. Yeah, at they... that point, Chariots of Fire plays. No <laughs> way. <sighs> I'm just gonna get this out. They they look like the Mucinex booger had sex yes. with the Casper ghost. That's all I wanted to say. That's okay. That's a good thing to say. <laughs> Psychosis. If you're in the if you're in the chat, I'm going to pay you to draw that. Um, uh, Matt's FBI agent is like, yeah, he's that guy's that guy's quit. I'm running through him. <laughs> they go nothing illegal, but you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how crazy <laughs> is that 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 was in a child's movie not crazy at all the mask Wrong. is actually insane we want to talk about comics you know what i mean oh yeah the mask comic the dark it, it's Wars. so violent yeah oh yeah that you know in the movie when he like the one of the inciting incidents is in the uh what is it called in the comic that's portrayed in the movie is when he goes to the place that fucked his car up or overcharged him and then yeah. like you know fucks him up in the in the comic he murders him <laughs> isn't it like with a chainsaw or is it something different like he I, I think he like beats them to death or like puts them in the car engine i can't remember i don't have it anyway the mask is fine the mask yeah, is a fine thing. my it's name funny. is cuban pete I'd like a new mask. I want a new mask. <laughs> I think I'm okay on masks. No. New mask. I, I think the mask did it. I think they did a good job with the mask. Do you, um, but do you, anyway, Bob Odenkirk. Or Bob Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk. Uh, Odin Bob is Odin. in Thor. Kirk Cameron is the father of... Kirk. Jesus Christ. Kirk Wait, Cameron Kirk Cameron's is, in Growing Pains, which has Kirk Cameron bit. is a Jesus man. Kirk Cameron loves Jesus, dude. Okay, real quick, Zach. I love, playing this, I love playing this game. Can we see if we can get from Kirk Cameron to, uh -huh. to 
Just any 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 part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It should be very easy. Oh, easy. Well, Kirk Cameron, Leonardo DiCaprio. And what? Growing Pains. Oh, fuck. I forgot Leonardo DiCaprio was in that. Well, then that's and very then, easy. And then fucking anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, do it. Complete, like... complete it. All right. Um... Nah. Sorry, so, my cat. Yes, when suddenly realizing how <laughs> difficult it might be. <laughs> uh, no, hang on. No, I'll, I'll, <laughs> Just... go, I'll go easy. I'll go easy mode. Uh, what's eating Gilbert? Great Johnny Depp. Okay, you ever heard of him? Oh, actually, I already got it. John C. Riley, Nova Prime. No, wait, John C. Riley. Yeah, we could go the, through. He's in Jonah the Guardians. Of, he's in the Guardians of the Galaxy. How would you get to Jonah Hill from Gilbert Grape? No, you didn't even need to go through Gilbert Grape. You just go Wolf of Wall Street. Jonah Hill. Oh. Jonah Hill, Margot Robbie, uh, Margot Robbie. Then you go uh, the the Joker and film, the DC universe. DC universe, and then we're gonna get right back. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, you got um, Zachary Levi, Aquafina, who's in Ocean's Eight with uh, mm-hmm. with Anne Hathaway, who's in, who's in the intern. Dark Knight. Oh, who's in the Intern with Zach Perlman. Oh. Zach yeah. Perlman. Could you get to me? Could you get from me to the MCU? Easy. Yeah. With my Zach limited Perlman knowledge of your. <laughs> I I want to see if I can do it with your uh with the credits that I am aware of. Okay. I wonder if I could. Yeah, I can. Easy. Uh. Well, I I would probably go through Ke- the Keegan Michael Key. That'd be the easiest one. Go and, okay. 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 Well, I didn't think you'd follow. Uh, Keegan Michael Key is in lots of films, as we all know. Webster's Dictionary defines a film as a film of a, 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 a moving pictures group. Um, as not, it's not even what Webster's I think my dictionary. cat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Keegan Michael Key is in Jingle Jangle with. By the way, with uh, oh, you can't see it. You got the dead cat in front of the live cat. George Michael. This guy's in the MCU. Sebastian Stan is in I, Tanya. Oh, he's Gluly. That's right. I wait. Keegan Michael Key. Jingle Jangle. In Jingle Jangle, we got uh, we got uh, the uh, the one guy uh, the, who is in um, Repo Man with Jude Law. Jude Law. Is Jude Law's in, in the Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe? No, he's not. Yeah, is he? Yeah, he's in Captain Marvel. Isn't that Jude Law? I don't know who that is. Did you see Captain Marvel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he plays like the. Or, yeah. Oh, um, he's one of the. Um, he was one of the. Uh, he's not a villain. He's one of the villains, yeah. I don't know. Remember, it's like it's all a ruse. It's all a it's all a bella ruse. <laughs> yeah, with that yes, one guy, with, with that one guy. I can't have them anymore because they're not vegan. But oh fuck. The uh, Sorry. is okay, and here's a uh, is Monica Rambo in? I should have googled this. Is she in? Uh, is she in? I, I don't think I saw Captain Marvel. Is she in Captain Marvel? I don't know. <laughs> He's over it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know who that person is. Monica Rambo from WandaVision. Yeah, as a kid, she's in it. Oh. I see. All right. Anyway, John C. Riley's in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, he's good in that. So, um, um, yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, pretty good. <sighs> Can I tell you about my experience with Guardians of the Galaxy? I didn't like it, and I thought it was not good. 
Mm-hmm. I like the second one way more. Really? Kirk Douglas, like baby. Kirk part. Douglas. <laughs> <sighs> What's the guy's name? We love him. I'm not going to tell you. I know he's married to Goldie Hawn. His last name's Russell. Kurt Russell. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. Oh, man. If I could watch anything with Kurt Russell in it. And I can for the most part. He's in a lot of stuff. All the way back to the computer that ate my bike. I don't oh, know. yeah. It was the computer that wore tennis shoes. The computer that wore tennis shoes. Uh, my brain is just firing a million cylinders, but they're all like, uh, they're like one off. That's okay. I just thought of Carlos Al- 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 Carlos Alzaraki from the computer. My there's a my computer's got a, there's a ghost in my computer. My computer's the ghost in my computer. Speaking of uh, Kirk Cameron, who did who was in the remake of the computer that wore tennis shoes. No way. Look it up. There's a remake? There was. In the 90s. Look that up. I want to see if I'm right. Look it up right now. Good old Walt Disney's last words. What did he say? To the, suck my dick. The computer ate my tennis shoes? <laughs> no. The computer that wore tennis shoes. Overboard, a problematic fave. Captain Ron. Are you going to, are you, did you check it out? Uh, I was just waiting for someone else to look it up. Thor Ragnarok, my, Thor Ragnarok might be my favorite. I, my favorite Marvel, here's my favorite Marvel films. You ready? I love You just the, said it. No, I was reading. <laughs> oh, wait, is that real, Jeff? Walt Disney's last words were Kurt Russell. Yeah, he was picking he was picking Kurt Russell for something. <gasps> In a wallet Willy Wonka style. Uh... <sighs> oh my God. I should have eaten some food before this episode. Um, you can go get food. I'll vamp. No, it's fine. We're here. We're here. And I kind of like the energy. <laughs> or lack there. I'm of. like crushing <laughs> this box of cookies. I'm going to feel like shit later. Samoas. But that's later me's problem. Am I right, kids? Samoas, uh, American Samoa, Polynesian Islands, uh, Taika Waititi's Maori. Taika Waititi. Oh, that's the easiest connection. Connect me to the Marvel Universe. You worked with Taika Waititi? In? He did five episodes of The Inbetweeners. Oh, that makes sense, tone-wise. Yeah, he was he was great. Nice guy. One of the best dudes in the whole world. He's a little bit of a show. In, in nowadays. I mean, he's a funny guy. Yeah. Um, but you know, you get I would say this, like you get to a level where you're kind of expected in public. There was a great um thing about Conan documentary about Conan O'Brien who is just can't stop can't stop yeah yes won't stop can't stop won't stop Conan O'Brien can't stop won't stop Rockefeller Records get to get down with it (laughs) yes um but it it remind it kind of reminds me of that where it's like once you get to a certain point if you're around people you can't really turn off and he's also endlessly funny like I never knew him it's not a show does that make sense? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just. I didn't. I didn't mean to be. Uh, you know, I didn't mean I to be critical of someone bringing light yeah. into the world. Um, but it's an interesting thing because, like, when people like that who are just agmatic and kind of full of the fun that everybody wants to be having, it's uh it's it's intimidating and also exciting to be around them because right. you never know what's gonna. Happen. Yeah. Speaking of, How we gotta we, get. We, gotta we get. met through Iffy. Oh yeah, we actually. Oh, we have met in real in real life in real we person. Did. We did do that. We had lunch. Uh, a photo of our meeting with like the Kim Kardashian uh, after two weeks of tests. Um, 
<laughs> we went to Cancun with 40 of our best friends. And Ted Cruz, I'm just fucking on top of it today. Put me on a panel show. And then yeah, take me talk right off. No, I don't. I want to talk about Tom Cruise. I want to I want to put out a, a real life MCU theory. <laughs> Let's hear it. Oh yeah, right. okay. Let's hear it. So here's the reason. Here's the reason I'm saying this. It's like just like MCU theories. Cuban. I don't necessarily think this is real, but it's possible. Uh huh. So this is a real life MCU theory, meaning there's no weight to be held to this, but it's very possible it's true. Who knows? What do you mean by real I life? Think, I mean like I'm about to talk about Ted Cruz in a way oh, God. that okay. you're gonna sound like it's gonna sound like what the fuck is he talking about? But also like no, that sounds plausible. All right, you ready? Yeah. Ted Cruz is in bad. And I don't know if it's like Russians or the mob. I don't know what it is, but he is in bad. And so they keep humiliating him on public television. They made him cut his hair and get that dumb fucking. Was that a real haircut? That was a real haircut. Who is making him do this? I think it's, I think it's the cartel. (laughs) Because he just like has been going to Mexico a lot. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So well, that's my, that's my two cents, baby. If any of those things happen, we'll ask about it. That's a, um, that's another NPR reference. Maybe the Russian cartel. I don't know. Cuban O'Brien needs friends. Cuban what is O'Brien, happening? It's his podcast. I don't know. It's stupid. Jeffro Cuban O'Brien. And he's a Zodiac, the Russian cartel. They made him work with Trump. I don't want to talk about Ty Cruz. Here's what we're going to talk about. What, talk about what, what do we think is happening in WandaVision? Is everybody right. caught up? I, I, I have, I have a uh, spoilers. Spoilers ahead. So listen. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Just kidding. Turn this shit off if you don't want to listen about the MCU. All right. First thing I found today, which was the coolest... While watching Doctor Strange, I realize Doctor Strange takes place over five years. Yes. Um, It starts at Iron Man 2. When he gets into his car accident, it's Iron Man 2 times. And then by the end... So, there's a few things that like point to this, but don't spell it out. One of the coolest things is that He's never seen aliens. <laughs> but everyone has on Earth at that point. Does that make sense? Who Who's never seen aliens? Stephen Strange? Stephen Strange. Because of the Silver Surfer or because of the Hulk? What? what? No, what? Because, of, because of the Avengers. He's never when seen. When the aliens them. attack New York. He lives in New York City. Right. Brownstone pretty nice it's really nice but what i'm saying is when the aliens attack post iron man 2 i think he's in uh he's in the place learning the mystic arts so when she first gets to him and is like these are the mystic arts yeah she punches him out of his body yeah and he's like i've never seen anything like that and then she says, like, you're going to see stuff that you've never even considered, basically. Mm. So what's the theory? He's in a hospital during New York. Yes, he's in New York. He works in New York as a surgeon. I didn't like all the, when he had the needles in his hands. That made me turn away. Aw. <laughs> She told oh, Hulk sorry, that Patty. Strange is perform. She told Hulk that Strange is performing surgery. I don't know what's happening. Oh, then that that's a timeline uh, discrepancy. That's a timeline discrepancy. Remember because when... they, this is this is the reason it's a timeline discrepancy. In Iron Man two. Wait. In Iron Man 2, yes. someone breaks their 
back during the um, fake Iron Man test, like during the hammer test, you know, he's like, all right, turn left. And then he like snaps in half. And then they reference that in um, when Stephen Strange gets a call from his assistant and is like, uh, go through all the surgeries I need to do. One of the things he says is like, uh, we have a colonel who broke his back in some uh, um, military testing. Gotcha. Robot. I see. And that's who? But it it wasn't Rhodey. Also, uh, I'm sure Maya's, Maya. I'm sure you're not watching anymore. But if you are, I'm sorry. I I have to figure out a better way to get these. Uh, get oh, you these think that YouTube works? things in here? Hmm. You think that was Rhodey? But Rhodey had a C. Okay, so Rhodey who's Rhodey? Rhodes, like um, what's his name? Uh, War Machine. Terrence Howard. <laughs> yeah, in one movie. <laughs> Don Cheadle. But Don, but Don, it couldn't have been Rhodey. The reason is, is because it wasn't uh, the injury explained. Rhodey, Rhodey broke like his C five to his, basically to the top of his or middle of his back they say uh in i had okay where i here i can feel it we i had uh if he come on yeah, uh yeah, 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 the yeah, original yeah, yeah. podcast and talk about destiny and this man just zeroed into like the most specific uh like <laughs> he was quoting the grimoire and shit and i was like we gotta pull out <laughs> we gotta pull out bro <laughs> Here's here's my so theory. So what's the with theory? Yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's Loki. I think oh, Loki yeah. is the one. And he's got a show. I'm told. He's got his own show. But he's dead. But I oh no, he's not he's dead. Because he stole because the for, he stole the Tesseract. This is you guys are watching live my issue with the Marvel Cinematic Universe is that I just don't know enough and I'm like I'll watch the YouTube videos of like screen rant. Days, dude. Okay, well that's not true at all. It takes two days of nonstop. I've already seen these movies. I don't want to watch them again. That's what I thought, and then I started rewatching them, and they're so good, dude. Yeah, but and HBO Max just put on all of the Lord of the Rings movies, and so I'm gonna watch care. those. those movies suck, dude. Ba, 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 Lord of the Rings, more like Lord of the makes me ba, ba, fucking ba, fall asleep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, uh, what you want to talk about? Uh, I don't know. I was going to talk about a movie that isn't good. What? Uh, I didn't like Doctor Strange as a film. Yeah, I've heard that. That was boring. I feel that. Why didn't you like it? You thought it was boring. Yeah. But did you know that it's boring? Whoa. It's it's one of the most boring. Ones. I felt like you punched me out of my body. Snyder Cut couldn't care less. Very excited about the Snyder Cut. And you will. We will have people on here who respect the vision. Uh, Not the vision from not. We're not talking. I'm not talking Jarvis. Why I don't care. Zack Snyder hasn't made a good film. <laughs> Listen, that's okay, though. But then why are we so excited about his cut? What? All right. How about this? I okay. want more bath. I want more bat fleck. How about how about this? I want how about more this? bat fleck. I want to see Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne as Batman Carlos punch Mencia. punch a hole. What? <laughs> Carlos Mencia and Gallagher make a movie together. Mm. Right. I'd watch it honestly, hundred percent. And then and then Carlos Mencia goes, "It's not <laughs> what I wanted." <laughs> Let me make uh, my own movie. <laughs> I liked Ben Affleck's Batman, and I want to see more of it. I like Ben Affleck's Batman. I like Henry Cavill's <laughs> Superman, and I want to see more of it. Best uh, best Bruce was Val Kilmer, dude. Val Kilmer's best. All, Val Kilmer's the best. Uh, best Batman, hands down. He's in the best Batman movie. The best Batman movie is uh, Batman Forever. That's and insane. You can't... Is that the one with uh, Two-Face, Tommy Lee Jones? Tommy Lee Jones 
and Jim oh, Carrey. He's great. He's great in that movie. I think it's the most love Tommy Lee Jones. Silly. And the best. And also Kiss from a Rose. Yeah. I mean, you'll never go to karaoke without someone singing that song and giving this the <laughs> guy that's singing it. Kiss from oh. a Rose. Uh, Kiss from a Rose. Okay, was... Zach singing <laughs> Kiss from a Rose. <laughs> I forgot I put that in there. <laughs> Kiss from a Rose is one of those songs that you you would you'd put in and then uh, get the guts up for and later. Uh, Kiss from a Rose is also featured prominently in Neverending Story Three, starring Jack Black. No, that's not a real movie. Neverending Story Three with Jack Black. JB, I believe Jack Black is a. I think Jables is Jablin in that film as a dude, bully. I will, I will watch that. I'll watch Jack Black do anything, dude. Dude, what was I watching? Uh, oh, I was I, I was watching clips from Bernie the other day, yesterday, the day before. You ever What's seen Bernie? Story four. You ever seen Bernie? Yeah, he's great in that. He's so good. You uh, know who holds a lot of weight in the cinematic universe? Like a lot of emotional weight. Paul Rudd. Emotional weight. Paul Rudd has one of the hardest scenes in Endgame to pull off. And he does such a good job, dude. What does he do? In, I can't remember what he does uh, in Endgame. Oh, he I, looks I, cool, dude. Yeah, he does look cool. Uh, um, in Endgame, he comes back. Right, he was stuck in. The oh van. yeah, he was in the truck, in the van, right? But we, he has to learn that. Um, everybody died, and that also his daughter is now an adult. Right. Yeah, yeah. And that scene is fucking like it's good acting. It's good <laughs> acting. It's it is. Good it is nice when you get those moments. Like I remember tearing up when. Uh, Spider-Man was going to die. And he was all like, I don't feel so good, Mr. I, Stark. Oh, I remember that just really hurt. laughing. No. I was laughing. No. I didn't yeah. cry in Iron Man. I didn't cry at the end of Endgame in, in any way. I was like, yeah, all right, we're done. I pissed my pants. <laughs> in solidarity with Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Cause he, that's that's in the comics, but they don't put it in the movie. He shits himself when he does that. He pisses and shits himself when he snaps. Yeah, and he also snaps one off. <laughs> one second, my hair is really bothering. Me. That's okay. Uh, a real issue right now. It looks great. You know, it's probably not even my hair. It's probably just my face that's bothering. Whoa, me. hey, none and, of that. And my, and my hair frames my face. None of that. <clears throat> Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man um, is kind of a little bitch in that. <laughs> <laughs> he's a young boy. No, he's good. He's good in those. That kid. That, that Tom Holland. You want to talk about? You want to talk about who's tying it together? Talented. Spider Man holding the stuff like this. That's that's Tom Holland keeping this fucking ship afloat. A kid knows what he's doing, man. I woke up this morning and I looked at a, a it was like a Instagram post and it said uh, Elizabeth Olsen has been admitted to the um, it, Elizabeth Olsen has been admitted to a hospital with back problems from <laughs> carrying the MCU. <laughs> 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 and it caught me. Trickster, thank you so much for uh for swinging guy. Tom Dude, Holland can dance. That's a funny that's a funny J right there. I uh, she's great. Yeah, Sam Rockwell was absolutely fucking wasted. Oh yeah, he was the bad guy in Iron Man th two. Hammer two, three. but I Hammer he could two. come back. Yeah, who who did they use? Who now? This this is a great question. Uh, thank you to Alpha Dev for bringing it up. Who has been uh utilized the least, the most poorly? 
in the Marvel Cinematic Universe throughout the t- history. Who, Wait, who, say it again. Who, who has been wasted and should come back in some way? I kind of feel like Idris Elba could be better utilized, but he's gone. Yeah. They went oops upside his head. I don't know. I don't know. They did, they did a really good job with a lot of people. I mean, it's going to be exciting to see what the X-Men add. Right. I wonder if it's going to be too much. Are they recasting? But, but if people? they if Jim shows up as Reed Richards tomorrow, I'll be pretty pissed off. I don't want to see him. Jim? Yeah, John Krasinski. Oh, as Reed Richards, that would be poopy. But Reed Richards is kind of a... Who cares? Kind of a, for me. I mean, he's Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Favorite. Fantastic. He's, Mr. He's gonna, he's gonna take over as the smart guy in the MCU. Oh, uh, from but Iron got, Man. Yeah, but isn't the Hulk smart? Yeah, but I think he's gonna be Audi Five K man. Oh, really? Yeah, That's isn't the, he like it's the T cool. says? Small, smart Hulk. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder if he's. Um, Maddie Reed. I think they're doing She Hulk. So I think the crown is being passed a little bit. Oh, yes. My friend is writing on She Hulk. Um, and Paul Bettany is probably the best thing. He's also kind of carrying the MCU. He's doing great. Paul Bettany's doing I a great job. Bettany. He's good. He is so solid that he's been solid the entire time. Now let's talk about Joss Whedon and his oh god, I know. Uh, going certainly here. a what is it called? Uh, a character who is being um, who is a monster. <laughs> it sounds like I don't know. Right. Uh, sounds like he he sucks to work with. Um, but he had an, an for those element. not aware, he's been uh, recently. Outed as uh, emotional abuser on sets. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. He just, it sounds like he's a piece of shit on sets. Yes. Um, Which, I think, uh, uh, there's a reckoning for that, I think, for a lot of uh, oh, white, white male hope. directors, because that's been going on forever and under the guise of getting art. Yeah. It's, it's actually, it's way worse than I think even that statement. It's, uh, yeah. Just directors. Well, but that's anywho, directors. Anyway, we're talking about John Sweden. Uh, anyway, his we're talking about John Sweden, Marvel his contribution to the Marvel. And so he's an important part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But honestly, everything he did was uh, made better by the independent directors that came after him. Yes. I think that he was a prototype for what they ended up doing which was hey we have directors with strong vision uh uh let's vision not vision not vision vision. of course i thought about it too um let's let them go nuts um and then and then you know it's it's you you can just look at the marvel cinematic users and see the antithesis of what the dceu is doing uh so Get my man off the leash. Yeah, let, him, let Zack Snyder go. They need to. They need to get some comedic comedy. That's the other thing I realize is they hired primarily comedy directors to come in and do these. Yes, because that's what the comic books are. Right. They're funny as much as they're fucking, you know, full of heart and. That shit makes me laugh. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, that's this is a great this is a great point, uh, and I want to talk about it because I, uh, it's a stick in my craw. Okay. I didn't know you had a craw. I got a craw, and there's a stick in it. Um, I don't like Deadpool. Be- yeah, me neither. Because the comedy is, uh. It's not very Christian. <laughs> it's not very Christian, and I, I it does not align with my values. Um, no, I just think it's like cornball shit. Yeah, I do too. I, I never loved it. Um, I always thought it was kind of bad. I rewatched those 
earlier last year or earlier this year actually and i turned off deadpool 2 and deadpool 1 was just like sometimes guys say fuck and yeah. pussy and yeah. penis i do appreciate um i like ryan yeah. reynolds just fine I like Ryan Reynolds too. What a wonderful guy. I'm glad that he likes Deadpool and is getting to do whatever he wants. I'm glad that people like it. It's not for me. Voices, directed by Marjane Sharapi, who did Persepolis. Pretty good. Ruined in the MCU before. I think those things saved the Hulk. Rude. I take Ragnarok and Endor and ruin Hulk in the MCU. Interesting. Uh, Infinity War. I do think that the Hulk never got to be the Hulk. I I would have loved a Hulk movie with Margaret Mark Ruffalo with the Gruffalo. Me too. But we're never gonna get it because he's Is like, I, why why would they make it? They tried to make the Thor movie. I do think it was smart to say, Hey, look, we got these two characters. We don't know what the fuck we're doing with them. All right, here we go. Here's the next four phases. We got Marvel. the Hulk and we got the we got the Thor. We don't know what's going on with either of them. Phase four. We got. Put them Shang- oh, Ten Rings is coming out this year. That's cool. Which one's that? Uh, Shang Chi and the Legend. Uh, Ariana Grande just came out with Seven Rings, and they're already up to ten. And that's a part of the Marvel Cinematic yeah, Universe. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so what else we got? The Eternals. Yeah. Phase four, it's got, we got Armor Wars. What the fuck is Armor Wars? James Rhodes must confront Tony Stark's greatest fear when Stark Tech falls into the wrong hands. That's not a theatrical release, is it? No, but it's a TV show. Oh. With Don Cheadle. I can't wait. Don Cheadle. series developed by Ryan Coogler. Interesting. That happens in Wakanda. Ironheart. Don't oh, they're doing a Riri Williams. Ironheart. Sorry, 24. I don't know who she is, but hell yeah. Uh, oh, Secret Invasion is going to happen this time? Yeah, I'm never going to watch it. Are these shows or these movies? Hey, or they both? Hey, I don't know. Shows and movies. It feels like, oh, this is a television series. Oh, Which yeah. comedy director should direct Blade? Um... I don't... Adam I mean, Sandler. I feel like it'd be hard-pressed to come up with a comedy director that would be good at action. But I guess that's the thing is that they teach you the action because they get incredible uh, oh, shit, stunt dude. coordinators and VFX you know coordinators. That? I don't know what you're saying. The Guardians of the Galaxy are going to be in Thor Love and Thunder. I did know that because they're together at the end of Thor. Or yeah, Infinity yeah, War. Yeah. Wait, um, and that and it, uh, it was so the good, Natalie Portman is now going to be Thor. Is that right? I mean, you know what? Again, this is not for me, but I think it's incredible. What they've done, what they've done is incredible. Jordan Peele and Blade, I can see it. Although I think that uh, the last Jordan Peele movie left a little bit to be desired. And that's Which all one? that. The last one. What was the last one? I can't remember. Ooh, I got five on it. Whatever that one was. Us. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was all right. I thought it was good. I, uh, everybody in it was great. Uh, but I thought it was, you know. I thought, I, I thought it was all right. I mean. Get Out was very I'm good. I'm a fan. I'll see anything he makes. Yeah. Uh, always for the rest of my life. Yeah. I got five on it. Do. Who would I want to direct a? I don't know. I mean, Blade is not, you know, I don't like really. I don't really like comics that much. Eh, That's not true. I don't love uh, Marvel. uh, You know who I would have? And I'm a white guy, and Blade is not important to me enough. So I wouldn't have anything to say about it. I think I think the Daniels would do a great job. The Daniels. Yeah. The directing duo. They did Swiss Army Man. Did you ever see that movie? 
Boo doo doo. The Daniels. Boom boom. Doom doom. Do doom doom. Swiss Army Man. Did you see that? I have not it's seen it. Out. It's very good. Highly recommend. Taj, I, have a good night. I think it's uh hey Taj, thanks for uh thanks for uh hanging and having have a have a good night. Um I think that the Marvel Cinematic Universe and its the timing of everything, um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe being f- not forced. We're going to be looking back, barring any uh, hopefully negative news, right? At Kevin Feige and the Marvel Cinematic Universe diversifying Hollywood in a in an incredible way. Sure. Which I think is very, very, well, very cool. I- you know what? I think what it is is yeah. Because it's the it's, it's the microscope on these characters that are important to uh, demographics. And, I would say and it's this, also commercially successful, and that's probably it's commercially successful. Yeah, it's everybody's. I mean, you got, and this is good. You got um, trying to figure out how to say this. You got Twitter. You got Zack Snyder. He got well. Zack Snyder is doing his own thing. Um, you got you got Twitter ready to <laughs> no, no, fucking no, no. hang, like <laughs> hang. They 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 are they're tying the noose knots right now. So Disney is is listening and they're like, all right, we're not gonna fuck this up. I mean, they still keep fucking it up, but they're like, we're not gonna fuck this up. We're gonna hire the right people to make the right stuff. Uh, I mean, I and, don't know, dude. You never know that. But they're going. They, but they'll they'll get it if they don't. You know what I mean. Here's how I feel. It's and like that's Robert Downey Jr. At a time in his life, was real fucked up. Yes. But I think most of his shit was just drugs, like was his own personal demons. Right. Um, and now the problem. Like, I think those people will never, the people who, like, hate or get people canceled, um, I think it used to be a thing where it was, like, on an individual level, it was a little petty. But, like, not when it comes to you spouting anti-Semitics. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying, I, I'm, I'm not saying, um, I was saying that the... I was speaking strictly for the good of mm-hmm. what if if what you want, if you want to call it cancel culture, culture the good of that. Not I'm not yeah, talking about I'm, I'm not talking. Culture. I mean, the well, interesting thing in my in my opinion at least is that like this has always happened. Public shaming has always right, happened. Right. It's a cornerstone of. Unfortunately, it's one of the cornerstones of patriarchy. Um, yeah, well, but that's a way bigger conversation what i'm saying though is specifically uh the the feet to the fire are are being held so to speak right people are are paying attention they have a lot more say um and sway over what kind of decisions get made um in hollywood now which is very positive in many many ways um so so someone being like okay we're we're coming out with Black Panther. Uh, there's an established, uh, perfect director for this, Ryan Coogler. Creed was incredible. Um, the 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 one with Michael. What is, why can't I think of it? Fruitvale Station, great. Uh, someone who deserves the shot and is interested in that. You, you, 2012, not getting that role probably, right? So they hire some. They hire someone else for it, right? Kenneth Branagh gets to do it. They don't care, but they're not paying attention, right? So now they're paying attention. So it, it, the, the right people are getting hired for these these roles. Dude, there are there's so much shit coming out. Yeah, like I the, don't the know. The amount of Marvel stuff that we'll have. It's very possible that until next, it's very possible that for the next 10 years, we never go a week without new Marvel shit. That's insane. It depends on how phase four works out. Because if phase four becomes the thing that they want it to, 
Disney is going to do a full push into uh, already, dude. They have like something like a hundred million subscribers for their for Disney Plus now. Yeah, that capital is not. They're they're working they're working with money that uh, no one's ever seen before. They're working it's with. Gonna- it's going to be crazy. They own so many properties. They have so much money. They appear to have at least a public facing interest in uh, hiring Can really wacky creative people to do really wacky creative things. So I'm going to make a prediction. You ready? I'm ready. They're going to buy a town. Didn't they? They've already bought a town. They bought towns all over the place. No, no, no. I'm saying like they're gonna Disneyfy a town. Oh. I can feel Irrelevant it. to the MCU. No, I think it will be like an MCU thing. Oh. Marvel Town. Or like they'll turn it into like WandaVision Town. Wanda oh, I see. Like a Wisteria Lane, but uh for exactly. for Marvel. Yeah. West uh, View? Is that what the place is called? Westworld. <gasps> Westworld. Oh my gosh. Westworld with uh, oh James Marsden, who is Cyclops. Mm. Yeah, that's not technically the MCU. Ed Harris, who is the guy from the Truman Show movie. <laughs> Ed TV. Ed TV with, wait a second, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey was in. Uh, oh, I got it. Matthew McConaughey was in uh, the Wedding, Wedding Planner with J Lo. J Lo was in Hustlers, Hustlers, Hustlers with Hustlers. with uh, Constance Wu. Is that her name? Constance Wu Constance was Wu. in A Fresh on the Vote with Randall Park. Randall Park is in uh, the one mo- the show we've been talking about today, and he also gl- frequents the local. He frequents the local Starbucks. Oh, don't dox him now. Come on, he seems like a nice guy. Uh, um, he's a big, he's, having... he's a big favorite at the local Starbucks. <laughs> Randall, Randall, he um, he's having his day in the sun. It's fun to watch. It's fun I'm, to watch. Yeah, I'm glad that he's. I really like him. He was so good and fresh off the boat. Uh, which by saying was so good, it means I think it's not. Ed Harris is in Chris Evans. Oh, he's in Chris Evans. He's with Chris Evans in Snowpiercer. And Snowpiercer also has Jamie Bell. Wait, Spider-Man 3 is the end of this year? Is that right? No. Yeah, they are. Piss, piss. Piss, Oh, my God. So, yeah, they no, I think you're right. I think that the, the 2021, I'm not going to watch a Hawkeye show. And I'm not going to watch. You are 1 million percent going to watch the Hawkeye I'm show. I'm not, dude. You have no idea how capable dollars. I am. I bet you a million dollars to watch that show. WandaVision is the first Marvel Cinematic Universe show that I've ever seen. It's the only one. Worth <laughs> well, watching. I didn't watch any of the freaking Netflixies. They were good i don't think i'm gonna watch the falcon wall soldier man oh uh, no not face of soldier man no is shang chi's a movie shang chi shang chi and movie shang chi is a movie release dates for hawkeye miss marvel and what if are speculative yeah shang chi and the legend of the ten rings so ten rings date back all the way to iron man one so we're finally going into the Ten Rings storyline. I'm excited about that. Oh. Uh, what are they doing with uh, Nebula? She's still alive? Uh, yeah, she's in the Guardians now. Oh, no, no. Isn't she dead? Did she, no, the other one died. Is this horrible going to be good? I don't know. Dane. Good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, let me check one thing here. Do, do, do. Yeah, so up to my guess would be 20, because we'll get another season of, well, depending on what happens in WandaVision. Hey, my cat's being really cute right now. It's looking out the window, wishing wishing the world was different. <sighs> um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nebula and all universe Gamora, because Gamora got slipped. Yeah, but she's yeah. she so she, so that that's the Gamora that doesn't uh want to date Chris. What's his butt? Uh, yeah, 
Which is fine. I mean, it's fine for us. I don't care. Um, but basically, the MCU is really, really hot and spicy right now. It's a hot and spicy place, and it's a hot and spicy uh, chicken sandwich that neither of us will eat. I can't. We're both, both non meat eaters. Veggie Grill did a, um, a Nashville's hot chicken sandwich that was great. Oh yeah, I, how was it? It was good. Very good. You no, know, the best best vegan chicken sandwich. Something vegan. I haven't had that. Every time I go to something vegan, I get the pad thai. Uh, Do you remember we had something vegan? We did. It was very good. You had the chicken satay. Yes. And you were impressed. I was like, damn, this is good. This is chicken? I ordered something vegan the night that we moved. Um, And this guy, the, the postmate, gave me the bag. And I was like, well, I can tell you off rip that bag is smaller than it's supposed to be. <laughs> and he goes, this isn't your stuff. And I was like, huh? And he goes, uh, yeah, this, you, I, this says Danielle. And I said, okay. He goes, not my fault, bro. And then he left. He goes, you're going to have to call him. And I was like, this sucks. I would have been like, this is definitely your fault. <laughs> it was 100% your fault. Not my oh, fault, bro. You're the one delivering it. Uh, <laughs> it's a million percent your fault. But the good thing about it, if they fuck up a, the order at a vegan place, you can still eat it. It's true. What was it? run the risk. It was gross. I didn't eat it. <laughs> it was a coconut curry. It was nice. Oh, I love the coconut curry. Nah, it was not good. I didn't yeah, know I it. It's not my fault, bro. That's me all the time, every time I do anything wrong. It's not my fault, bro. That is it's the not- wrong energy for anything. If it is, find a way to make it your fault. My so my big MCU theory. This is what I'm. This is the last thing I'll say. Is Loki is the one manipulating Wanda? Oh, you think? Oh, yeah. Who do we think the big bad is? Okay, you think it's Loki. I think it's Loki. And I think Loki, um, with the power of the Tesseract, made, I think he impregnated Wanda so he could have powerful children. Oh, so speed I mean, and yeah, the other one. Mephisto. Yeah, you don't think it's Mephisto. Mephisto. I don't think it's Mephisto. My fist, though. Got him. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Loki. Um, Mephisto stuff is in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were talking about Mephisto stuff. When? Well, they were talking about Evan Peters calling the kids Demon Spawn. And the ladies got the amulet. Oh. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is Mephisto. Mephisto. Magic Mephisto is in the show. Bow. Damn. Who's going to play Mephisto? Uh, and that brings me to my next announcement. Oh, shit. Maybe it's the bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you're watching WandaVision tonight, keep a keen eye out for someone you might recognize. Tonight, the part of Mephisto will be played by Matt T. Riri. <laughs> Riri. Um, and that's a spoiler that you can take to the bank. All right. Wait, when does it come out? Midnight? Midnight, I believe. Uh, that's what Midnight. they told me. And they said I Midnight. couldn't say anything, so don't blow my spot. Midnight what time? Midnight our time? <laughs> midnight, or midnight what time? Uh, I think it's a rolling midnight, is it not? Or that would be stupid, huh? If it was a rolling midnight, then I could just connect to the East Coast with my NordVPN. It comes out. At, oh, it comes out at three a.m. Damn, dude, they really do that, huh? That's fucked, Disney. That's kind of fucked. Oh shit! I'm gonna stay up. I'm going to be up. I'm going to be awake because I have to edit. I'm gonna stay up. I'm not gonna tweet about it, so I I don't even go on Twitter anymore. So I don't even. It's, I'm gonna. Um... I'm going to tweet about it. Two hours until launch. Um, two, two hours, well. Wow. Evan Peters 
in yeah. the show. He's yeah. not that. He's not the Quicksilver. Was he? Is he? The, he's not the Quicksilver from the other one, right? The Lord actually um, came down to me and told me, but I'm not allowed to say. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I think the, the you're bearing the lead there that the Lord visited you. I think I'm. I think whether or not Evan Peters is playing the same character from the. X Men movies. Is I think he is the X Men one, and the reason is is because they kind of go over it being like, oh, they have different memories. Is he the cameo that they were talking about? Because they said, oh, a very similar cameo, level cameo to Luke Skywalker in the Mandalorian. Um, he is not the cameo, says Jeff. Okay, then here's my no, theory. No way. Here's there's my no way. theory. I think it's going to be Iron Man. In what? In what? Well, they keep bringing people back. Oh, Iron Man looking uh, all like a zombie. Yeah, how sick would that be? Uh, They're saying Mark Hamill level, dude. What if it's RDJ. Mark Hamill? You don't get that level any other way. It's RDJ. Luke Skywalker shows up. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Luke Skywalker. Um, what if... Because isn't in the X Men cinematic universe or the Sony whatever the fuck isn't uh isn't Peter Maximoff's father Magneto? Yeah, that'd be pretty sick, right? We find out Wanda Maximoff's papa is Magneto, and it's Ian M- Ian McAllen. McAllen, that'd be fucking sick, dude. Who should be their great grandfather? No, what the I fuck? am your father, dude. He would be. He's like ninety. They're like thirty. <laughs> it's in the movies, dude. You're in the movies. Hold on, my dad's calling me, and it's midnight. Oh, oh wait, god, no, one sec, one sec, Please. one sec. I'll be right back. Um, is there any case for this? Is there any case for this? I genuinely don't know enough about that stuff. All good, all good, all good, all good. Okay, all good. All good. Right. Fastbender is their dad, but Fastbender is not their dad. I, oh, Fassbender. oh, oh, oh! Because Evan Peters it was uh, Quicksilver in the seventies. Yeah, I see. Their dad is young Magneto. Ian McKellen had no real tie to it, but I'd like it to be Ian McKellen in some sense. I just would like to see more Ian oh, McKellen. They, they retconned Gus the entire X-Men is the universe with X-Men Days of Future Past, right? They like retconned the entire thing. That one was the one that I was kind of like, I don't really know what's happening anymore, and this is the last one I'll yeah. watch. And then the ap- apocalypse was just like, you know what, that whole movie doesn't matter. Let's just do something else. <laughs> Wait, and then there was another one. They did Dark Phoenix after I Apocalypse? Phoenix. No, that one was neither did a lot of people. I think a lot of people were I like, I forgot. I you forgot. You had your chance <laughs> and you messed up. We <laughs> gave you Days of Future Past. That one was actually pretty rad, right? Because didn't Kitty Pride stick her fingers in uh, Jackman's head? Yeah. That was cool. We liked that. And then Ian Malcolm, Ian Malcolm, Ian McKellen was there and going, Oh, yeah. Xavier. Young- I tried to watch five minutes of that. I turned it off immediately. Of what? Dark Phoenix. The mutants, the new mutant one. Oh, is that related in some way? I can't with all of this stuff, man. X Men sucks. I mean, I love the X Men, the comics. I like the show. The na- the. I love the show. show. I would put that. I'd... What are you looking at, Kitty? X Men, X Men, X Men. Days of Future Past was fun. Dark Phoenix is the one that finally came out last year, the horror one. It, it's a horror movie. Anyone seen Legion? Because it's the best Marvel adapted property, in my opinion. Interesting. <laughs> Better than Constantine? Is that Marvel? That's not Marvel, is it? Is it? I don't know. Wait, what? What's the best? It's like Please? Kubrick made a super. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it. Legion's like a TV show on FX. Yes, with, um, with um, Jermaine Clement. Yeah, and uh, Aubrey Plaza. Hmm. 
Interesting. Aubrey Plaza. Constantine, Aubrey Plaza. Const- okay, Constantine is DC. Those phenomenal Noah Hawley. Who's Noah Hawley? From the Fargo. I can't. I can't with all this stuff, guys. There's too much. Hey, guys, leave Maddie alone. Get me out of this. I'm trying to do my job. I'm trying to stream twice a week. Oh, I'm failing at it. Um, and I just want to. I just want to watch the reality television competition shows. Exactly. Okay, leave this guy alone. I just want to watch Master Chef, please. Just want to eat Master Chef. What if it's Gordon Ramsay? And that's the last I'll say on it all. I actually recently found out that I am Gordon Ramsay. <gasps> that makes so much sense. Isn't that crazy? I'm now Kaiser so saying it all back. You just, it's just my memory of you being Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay, actually. <laughs> the, the flashbacks is just me coming back to you very clearly, Gordon Ramsay, saying, as Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I, shit. And I would know because, and then you grab me by the shoulders, I'm Gordon Ramsay. I'm Gordon Ramsay. It's like the sixth sense. <laughs> that's fun zach this has been a, an amazing fun you know what same oh thank you so much for having me on we, you're coming back but whether you like it or not i'll i'd love to i guess you can't you can say no but i hope that you of would. course i can but i wouldn't um anything anything you want to plug what it, what do you have going on um this is it, honestly. This, this, uh, I'm into that. We're just having a lot of fun here with I'm into that. I think, um, ah, oh man, what a question. Just trying to figure my freaking life out, dude. Trying to, uh, change to every day waking up and running away from the darkness and cha- and, yeah. and, and getting in my bed before it catches me. And then waking That's up nice. and we do it again. Hey. hey. Hey, 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 yeah. Uh, Barbosa at the end of uh, Pirates One. Uh, did two immortals locked in battle? <laughs> Something like that. Those movies are incredible. The Pirates trilogy is one of the best yeah. movie trilogies yeah. of all time, and I am not being hyperbolic, and I'm not being ironic. Pirates one two three is so good. Oh, if I was in the incredible, literally one of the best. And people go, Pirates three is not that great. Well, I go, you know what? Back to the Future three is not that great. And some of the Lord of the Rings waver. Okay, Spider Man, Spider Man three is not that great. Okay, Lord of the Rings is boring. Um, all right. So you're gonna be Wolverine. If I want to watch a bunch of guys walk around. I'd go to, uh, I'd go on a hike. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be Wolverine 2024. I'd be Namor. I could see myself as Namor. What is he? Oh. I think I got three years, three the, years in me before I'm Wolverine. The human I submariner? I just got to stop eating boxes of cookies. <laughs> Maybe that could be Wolverine's thing, though, this time around. Oh, he's fat now? I mean, I didn't he say that. I say he likes cookies. He can't be fat because of his body regeneration power. Oh. Yeah, but what if it's just overclocking? <laughs> it's just regenerating too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. Is he has, it's literally called, I think it's called hyper... Metabolization. Uh, yeah, it's like hy- hyper metabolization. I want Zach to be Bob, called. agent of Hydra. What does that mean? No way, dude. I'd never be Hydra. They're just Nazis. I think it would be fun to play a villain. Regenerating any fat he burns, that's the thing, though. His fat isn't doesn't naturally occur at those levels. Um oh I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna plug this real quick. Uh yeah, plug it. Uh if you are interested, we didn't do it this episode, and that's fine. Um if you're interested, everybody, in this link. Um, there's a giveaway for, there's a form for eligibility for giveaways. Most episodes of I'm into that. We have a guest play a uh, game. We didn't do it this time. We'll have Zach back. We'll do it next time to give away a gift 
to give away a t-shirt or a mug that looks like this. Nice. Uh, nice mug. Thank you. That's so, cool. And, um, we'll get you one of those. But if you're interested in being eligible for that, uh, please fill out that thing. I'm going to, I need more. I need, if you're like, oh, I don't want to take Matt's stuff. I need people to do this. So you might, you probably won't get one because I make the tests and the quizzes really, really hard because it's my money. But the more people to pull from, the better it is. So if you're in it and you're interested, go nuts. Um, That's really cool. Do anything for you, Zach? Are you uh, what? So the we did the charity stream last night. Is it happening again? Because I know you had to. It will happen again. I had to cut it early. It will happen again before the end of the month. Um, I'll just jump on, and pretty much every stream now will just be a Disney stream. Great. What is the uh, what is the what is the the charity, and how can they if the they want to The charity is called. That? Uh, Little Victors, it's a charity for Matt's Hospital in at the University of Michigan. I will get a link for us. Get a link for us. I would uh, very much appreciate if you guys, even just checking it out, don't have to donate. Taking a little look, Lou. Put, your, put your little, rub your little peepers on that. Uh, rub your little peepers <laughs> on that for <laughs> Matt's Children's Hospital. In Ann Arbor, Michigan, where my niece, my nephew were born, and my father worked for a very long time. It's a very cool charity where they are implementing gaming into therapy. So, oh wow, uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty incredible thing. And um, very cool. I met I met with these guys in 2019 at TwitchCon. I saw the big uh, block M. And I said, go blue from across the street. And then we just got to talking. And What does um, go blue mean? Go blue is the University of Michigan Wolverines. Oh, is that why you want to be the Wolverine, man? That's why. I want to bring it home. I want to own it. I want to own the name. I want to the <laughs> I'd like to have the rights to the Marvel Cinematic I'd like Universe. To, I'd like to buy the rights to Wolverine. Thank you so much, Zach. Thank you, everybody who who joined us. Um, that's gonna be that for I'm into that, and I hope you were into that. Oh wow! Me too. Me too. What a fun Thanks time! Thanks so much for having me, dude. Of course. Thank you for doing it. Love you all. Um, uh, what do you say? What's your sign off? Love yourself. Take care of yourself. You're the only you got, and if you got it, sick gap, bro. And I like to, in very Zach fashion, say, "Be kind to yourself and everyone around you." Night all. Zach Snyder.